You, you talked about the 2,000 pound bombs uh, and so on. You think that it is really wise to send it at this time? You know, when this far in this battle, you know, or this war, it has only been used in Gaza. I mean, I know you say that uh, Israel is surrounded by, uh, uh, you know, people that wish it would and so on. But in fact, it's surrounded by Egypt with very good relations with Israel, surrounded by Jordan with good relations with Israel, surrounded by Syria that is obviously embroiled in its own civil war and cannot even defend itself against attacks as we have seen today. So by the contrary, is Israel is surrounding Hamas and it's using these weapons to do that. And in fact, I mean, you know, the F-35, to the best of my knowledge, I could be wrong, has only been used in combat against the people of Gaza. So how could you justify sending all these weapons when you have the most hapless people probably on earth, you know, destroyed, moving from one place to another and so on, and you send these weapons to sort of just finish the job or continue the job? I don't know. So, what logic is there so, in sending those weapons? So the logic is exactly what I outlined a, a moment ago. Despite the fact that Israel has a relation, has diplomatic relations with Egypt uh, and Jordan, it does not change the fact that Hezbollah is parked on its northern border and is sworn to the destruction of Israel. It does not change the fact uh, that Iran, uh, uh, no, not exactly, not right on its border, but well within striking distance, is committed to the destruction of Israel and continues to fund proxies committed to the destruction of Israel. So yes, Israel faces incredibly ser serious threats, not just from Hamas, although Hamas is clearly one, as we saw on October 7th, but from other adversaries uh, that it needs uh, our assistance uh, to continue to defend itself against.